that's what I'm talking about. 32 degrees on March, whatever it is, what is it, 19th? Love it. Snow. So why did Kim retire from cycling? He's retiring from everything, right? Well, too many crashes and uh, I had also developed an issue from riding in, uh, in the saddle for so many hours and miles and years. Uh, I had some uh, issues in my, in my growing area, the uh, osteitis pubis. I had a lot of inflammation and a couple of uh, stress fractures. So I gave up cycling slowly got back into running but even then after so many years of non weight bearing activity I kept having issues not only in the same area the grown area but other parts of the leg as well so it took me literally three years to come back to consistent running and after those three years I actually <laughs> jumped into a couple of uh, short 10k runs just to sort of have fun and test my fitness and ran oh, I think 45 minutes the first time just sort of jogging through it and then 41 minutes the second time so I wasn't totally a slogger just a slogger compared to what I used to be in 2010 I retired from cycling in 2009 but in 2010 I actually approached our cross-country coach David Hilson Tager and asked if I could volunteer and help him out with the cross-country and track programs he said absolutely so not only was it a volunteer position, he actually got me some money, and we had some really incredible teams. I remember that first uh, summer, 2010, we uh, took the kids to a training camp up near the hill country of Texas. There actually are a few hills in Texas, and we had a blast. That particular uh, uh, team ended up finishing fifth in the state cross-country meet, which was no small feat for Texas schools, so we had a good... Uh, good group of kids. Our girls just missed going to the state finals. They finished one place out of the uh, state qualifying position in the regional meet. So we had some success. And that particular summer also, my brother and I went to uh, Banff, Canada and to Yosemite National Park. So I got in my first uh, uh, attempt at Half Dome and had a blast up there. I was doing a lot of running and hiking at the time had some injuries there again so it was sort of sporadic but getting back to running was was a godsend I sure missed it a lot and my first I remember my first few days were like holy cow what am I trying to do to my body because there again cycling and running are two totally different activities and cardiovascular I was cardiovascularly I was super fit but my muscles my legs were just really really sore from the weight bearing and having not done that in so many years literally about six years of no running uh, focusing on the cycling so it was good to get back I'll talk more about uh, getting back to competition in my next episode I want you guys to see some of the snow though I'll flip this around not a bad place to live Silverton Colorado here's my house and there you have it wish you were here maybe some of you do as well